Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of the Campin' Kitchen, right here in Knott's Island, North Carolina. I'm Aristotle, and this week we're going across the seas Mediterranean, baby. We're doing Greek gyros in American style, right here with a twist on the Campin' Kitchen. Stay tuned. All right, so this episode is brought to you by Big Green Egg. And we got this Big Green Egg from Taylor's Do It Center. Just do it, baby. And when it comes to cooking, ain't nothing like cooking on an egg. So today, we're gonna do some cool stuff with the egg, and we're just gonna roast some peppers. We're also gonna cook our meat, our gyro meat here. First things first, we're making our yiddo meat. So the American yiddo is called a gyro, and it's typically made with lamb and beef blend. So today we're doing a lamb and beef blend. We're gonna do one pound of lamb meat, one pound of beef. We're gonna blend them in with some spices and then we're gonna puree it in the food processor. All right, first thing we do for the meat is we're gonna take two onions and we're gonna dice them up, put them in the, in the blender first with the whole bell of garlic. So smash it up. This is the best way to peel it all. Smash it all up, pick your clothes out. All right, then you just take your knife and carefully smush the garlic and you can pull it right out of the clove, just like that. Drop it right in, the, right in the food processor. So you repeat that step with all your garlic, just smush it on down, just peel it on out, right just like that. Save you a whole bunch of time. All right, so after you do the garlic, then you're gonna dice the onions up. You don't have to dice them fine. Uh, slice them, dice them, whatever you want. You're gonna throw them in there. It's gonna puree them anyway. So the goal is to get them minced as small as you can, and then we're gonna take them out and drain them with cheesecloth. After we drain them with cheesecloth, we're gonna put it back in there with the meat, blend it all together with seasonings. All right, cool. First things first, I'm gonna put the top on. All right, and we're just gonna we're gonna pulse it a little bit, chop up these garlic. All right, next up is onions. We're gonna do onions, and then we're gonna, we're gonna pull it all out, strain all the juices, because we want it to be dry. Uh, the drier you make it, the better your loaf holds up when you bake it. It's like a pureed meatloaf with all the onions and garlic and seasonings in it. Good way to explain it. All right, now we're just gonna roll this one. Bam, chopped it all up, just like that. Next step, we're gonna drain it in some cheesecloth. Drain it, strain it, baby. All right, now we're gonna strain it up. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff will make you cry, too. It's no joke. <laughs> like, I cut all the onions, now it didn't cry. Started squeezing them, and I was bawling. Like, oh my god, thank god the wind's blowing the other way. All right, straighten out. See all that juice we got out of it? That'll ruin your loaf. All right, so after you strain it all out, you dump it right back in the processor. All right, next up, I got ground lamb. One pound of ground lamb. Get that at your local Harris Teeter if your uncle doesn't raise them. <laughs> My uncle used to raise them. We get our own lambs. He's like, what do you want? I'm like, I want a lamb. <laughs> That's what I want. Take the whole thing. One pound of beef. Whew. Did you see that slam dunk? That was fast, wasn't it? It's about all you want to put in your processor or the thing's gonna start burning up on you. Okay, cool. So what we got over here is oregano and a little bit of Greek seasoning. Okay, so we're gonna add that to it. All right, this is seasoned pepper, seasoned salt, and garlic powder. Garlic, garlic seasoning, excuse me. So we're gonna put that in there. And then the last but not least is just a teaspoon of cumin. It's really gonna bring the flavor out. Then we're gonna mix it together with our hands and throw it in the food processor. Mix those meats together with all the seasonings. So the goal is to make this, you know, the night before, the day before, because you wanna bake it and let it rest so you can slice it for your sandwiches. That's the ideal way. I made one last night and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this one while we're 
making the rest of the sandwich. But the goal is to make it night before, let it rest real cool. That way you can slice it cold and then heat it back up for your sandwiches. All right, so we're not gonna start with all of it. We'll start with about half of it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Woo! All right. That's what we want, team. All right, put the other stuff in. I didn't want to puree it all the way, so we got the other mix in there with it. It's a lot from where she's full. I'm gonna try to pulse it so we'll burn her up a little bit. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this pan down. A little bit of vegetable oil. Just keep it slick. There's plenty of oil in this stuff, but shake it on out. Yeah, so it's all blended up real well with the um, with the herbs, spices, seasonings, garlic, onions, cumin. Now we're gonna flatten it all out. We're gonna put it on the big green egg for an hour, hour and 15 minutes at 325 degrees. Uh, you pull it out, let it rest. If you're going to do it the same day, you have to at least let it rest in the fridge for about 45 minutes before you slice it or else it'll fall apart on you. Um, but we did, like I said, we made one last night, so I'm going to pull that out in a second. We're going to slice that use it for this today's dish, but we're going to bake this while we're here so you guys can see how it looks when it's done. Um, next step is we're going to roast a few peppers, and then we're going to dice our onions, we're going to slice our tomatoes, and we're going to make the filling for the yiddos, which is a Greek feta cheese, olive oil, seasoned, vegetable filling. It's got cucumbers, onions, tomatoes, feta cheese, Greek dressing, a little bit of extra seasonings. Uh, that really ties the whole dish together. So next step, get your oven or your grill, 325, 350, a little high, a little heavy. I'm going to push this whole loaf in. All right. Nice and even. Push it around nice and even. You just work your hand, move it. That's where you get it, nice and even, all the way across. It'll shrink up in the pan as it cooks. Those onions will cook down, garlic will cook down, and will start forming into a little loaf. All right, next step, we're gonna throw it on the egg. Just like that, we're gonna let it bake, just like that. I'm going to push it all the way to the back for now, just for a minute, because I'm going to put some peppers on here. We're going to get those roasting. I'm just going to throw some peppers on the front. And we're going to flip them over. Let them roast like that. Bam! <laughs> what peppers? They just disappeared. Woo! We were fired up last week. But we're fired up again today, baby. Don't worry. Coming at you. All right, next step. We're going to dice up these onions, tomatoes. We're gonna mix them in with some cheese and some cucumbers. Look at that fancy thing. Woo! That's a peeler, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, watch that. Come on, we got. We can put those on top. Maybe little pretty little things. I'm just gonna peel them off a little bit. I like the peeler. Cool, it's cool peeler. <laughs> Like a cool cumber peeler. <laughs> Woo, you ain't lying. All right, I'm gonna slice them long ways. We're gonna cube these ones up, seeds and all. Seeds, I like the seeds. It tastes good. Just like that, baby. Much better look. I got a little excited because my peeler was cool. <laughs> but I didn't want to mess it up, you know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> ah, you ain't lying. All right, cucumbers are done. Bam, cukes in the bowl. Not pukes in the bowl, cukes in the bowl, all right? We're going to check on our peppers before those things turn into... All right, yeah, put a little, a little heat, a little smoke, a little flavor. If I leave it open and let it fire up a little bit, that'll help. I'll get a little air in there. All right, next up, I'm gonna get my red onion. All right, we put white onions in the meat. 
we'll put red onions in the toppings. Cut them in half. Woo! Oh yeah, you gotta cut them all right in half. You know why? That way all that dressing and seasoning gets in the tomatoes too. If you leave them whole, they won't get uh, marinated as well. All right, tomatoes are gone. Trying to get them peppers right. After we do the tomatoes and the peppers, we're gonna put them in the bowl. We're gonna put in the Greek, the Greek dressing and a little bit of seasonings. And we're gonna finish it with feta cheese. After that, we're gonna slice our meat then we're gonna work on over there on the flat top and we're gonna start setting them up. All right, my feta cheese right here. Okay, I bought my feta cheese in a big chunk, a block of feta last night. Um, we took some canola oil because when you put it, when you cool it in the fridge, it doesn't um, coagulate, it doesn't harden up on you. So we used canola oil and then we put some Greek dressing in there. We put some um, oregano, some parsley, a little bit of Greek seasoning and made our own seasoned feta. You can buy seasoned feta in the store, but if you buy, it's a lot less expensive if you buy a bigger block and season it yourself. So that's what we did. Um, we're gonna do somewhat of the similar concoction in our um, vegetable mix, uh, but we did top it with some rosemary just to give an extra boost of seasoning for the marinade. All right, cool. Peppers, got a little color on them. Not a whole lot, but that's all right. We're gonna take them just like that, move our meat to the middle, get it back up to temperature. We're gonna finish putting our vegetables in the pan. We're gonna top it with some Greek seasoning and put some feta cheese in there. Then we're gonna start slicing that meat up. Bam, bam, just like that. You know you're waiting for the meat. Everybody's waiting for the meat, let's go. <laughs> you ain't lying if you ain't trying, let's go. I said, don't forget, season your damn food. Guess what, we're gonna season these tomatoes because I always season my tomatoes. If you ain't seasoning your tomatoes, you're missing out on life. You're gonna have to elevate your, season your seasoning game because everybody eats tomatoes on all kinds of stuff. That's looking good, ain't it? Look at all them pretty colors we got today. You know, I figured if we were bringing it from the, all the way from Greece, we better bring some beauty with it. So we brought all the colors. We got red and green and yellow and orange. The best one's white, baby, because we got feta cheese today, and I eat a whole bucket of that stuff. <laughs> you ain't lying, my you used to send us a bucket for Christmas. It was in five gallon bucket, too. We eat it all. <laughs> I ain't even lying about that. I bet that thing cost $500 now. <laughs> she used to send us a five gallon bucket of feta cheese from New York City. I went there twice, never went back. <laughs> I like it down here in the country. We got trees everywhere, you know what I'm saying? If you turn up the knob a little bit, woo! <laughs> you be like, bam, bam! You be cutting yourself all day. What do you think the next step is? Season your damn food. Come on, that's right. We're gonna put some season on them tomatoes. Yeah, yo. Don't be looking at my can. I switch it up every week. <laughs> Woo, cause we like to season with all kinds of stuff. They got seasonings that you ain't never even seen before. It's called seasonings. <laughs> you ain't lying. Woo. Now. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Greek seasoning in there. Cause it's Mediterranean night. You gotta use that Greek stuff, come on, woo! Yeah, man. I almost forgot about my yellow water. <laughs> Thank God we didn't. We'd have been on a track somewhere else. All right, slicing these babies open. Let's put a little heat on it. It's gonna bring a lot more of that flavor out. Awesome. Bam. Bam. Yep. Oh man, these peppers look hot. Just like my wife. <laughs> I always got to plug her, man. They say behind every good man's an even better woman. Maybe that's why I'm so cool. <laughs> Woo, you ain't lying. All right, yeah, we're just having fun though. We're trying to, I'm trying to bring you creative fun ideas at home. I'm learning a lot too with this series. I'm really trying to bring a lot of creativity to the table. I'm trying to give you confidence to be able to cook at home because the goal is, is if I can cook it outside, you can cook it inside. 
I think we're really just having fun with this whole series. I would love for you guys to give me some feedback on what you think I should cook. Thanks for following along. Thanks for all the support so far. I've got a lot of great feedback, which really humbles me because this is something I'm passionate about. This is something I really love, and I'm glad I'm able to share it with you guys at home. So thanks for following along, and feel free to tell your friends to subscribe. Because <laughs> that's always good. It helps us out, baby. Woo! Bam, 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 bam! Yeah, that's what you were waiting for, wasn't it? <laughs> The next step is we're going to start putting these babies together. We're going to slice our meat, we're going to put it on the flat top, and we're going to tie these whole things together. The best part is, is I take my pitas, uh, olive oil them down real good, top them with Parmesan cheese on the, on the flat top, and we'll grill these babies up real good too. So that's going to be the start to our whole meal. Woo! Mmm, baby, that's good. Bam! <laughs> So we're layering them up in there. We got uh, cucumbers, red onions, tomatoes, peppers, and last but not least, feta cheese, baby. This ties it all in. I love feta cheese. I put extra feta cheese in mine. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> all right, we upgraded our bowl, y'all. <laughs> when you can't fit enough in your bowl pack, get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Woo, because we're going to pack this one to the brim, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here you go. All right. Now we're going to put the peppers in. All right. All right. We're going to throw this feta cheese in there. All right. All right. After we do that, I'm going to take some Greek dressing and dump over top. Cover it all real good. You can even eat it as a salad, man. This stuff is unbelievable by itself. We're gonna put a little more in there. <laughs> the longer that sits in the fridge, the better it gets. That's for sure. It's like a fine wine, gets better with time. Let's go! <laughs> all right, we're gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna throw a little Greek seasoning in there. Just a little, I already seasoned it up pretty good. So now we're just gonna toss it. Cover everything. See, that's the filling, all right? That's your Yiddo filling. I don't know many people that make it like this, but obviously I try to put my own spin, my own creative flair on whatever I'm cooking. Um, but this being a Greek dish, it's gotta be good, cause Daddy Pig, Mr. Aristotle, the Greek freak seasoning, coming at you we gotta make sure we bring that flavor to the fire you know what i'm saying make them taste buds go berserk Woo! and that's what we're doing today y'all check out that mix man you can eat that with a spoon wow all right those are your two main steps is the meat and the filling all right cool wow look at that would you look at that Woo! Come on! <laughs> so you saw our meat earlier, all right? It's like a meatloaf, I would call it. It's just kind of like a pureed meatloaf. But we got the meat going, it's starting to get brown. Uh, now the goal is, is if you, if you do cook it same day, you want to let it rest in the fridge for 45 minutes before it cools. But luckily, we already made ours last night. So there's our our Yido meat, which uh, we made. Uh, 325 degrees for about one hour. You want an internal temperature of 165 degrees. The goal for this is to cool it so you can slice it thin. Because the thinner you slice it, uh, the more flavor profile it's gonna bring to your Yido itself. Okay, so our goal is to slice it thin, then we're gonna put it on the flat top, saute it up, finish the pitas, and then start filling it all in with the topping. So we're slicing it thin, thin to win, baby. Then the win. It's like you're playing cards. Woo! Pocket aces. Full boat flop. If you're lucky. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're almost done slicing it. I'm gonna slice the whole loaf. Cause I gotta send this home with the whole staff, man. The whole production crew. These guys eat, for, they work for food, you guys. <laughs> yeah, but they better bring back their Tupperware. Nothing goes home with them. 
That's the law of the land. If somebody sends you home with something, you better bring it back. Normally you bring it back full. You know what I'm saying, Grandma? I learned from you. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. We're gonna slice the whole loaf, guys. We got it nice and thin. You see that? Nice and thin. All right. So that's why you let it cool, so you can get nice thin slips. It's already pre-cooked. We're gonna heat it back up with the pitas and put it all together. Woo! I spelled fishing, but you can't read it. <laughs> Woo! You ain't lying. I'm excited about yidos. A gyro is what they call it in America. A gyro, y'all! We're making gyros down here in the country! <laughs> Woo! Greek gyros, here we come, baby! Alright, get your grill hot, and then drop it like it's hot. That didn't sound like it was hot, did it? I'd say we're cooking with Crisco, but it's more like peanut oil! Woo! <laughs> Alright, baby, we're getting her hot. We got our brand new propane tank on here. This thing is hot as buns on a Friday night. Come on. <laughs> I'm talking about hamburger buns on the big green egg. Gotta get them toasty. Ooh, that was a good one. A little thick chunk on that one. If you want to see it on Wednesdays, comment below. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we might just give one away. Bam. Yeah, and you be eating good in the neighborhood. Come on. We far from Applebee's. <laughs> Ain't lying. Ain't nothing close out here. We do got a Dollar General though. <laughs> That's how you know you live out there. <laughs> if you got a DG, you don't live. You don't live close to nothing else. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little color on it. We're gonna let it get a little bit of color, and we're gonna flip it, get a little more color, and then it's time for pitas. So you don't have to go through all these steps to make a gyro. You can buy lamb meat, uh, a mix, beef lamb meat, over the counter. You buy your tzatziki over the counter, your Greek dressing over the counter, your pitas over the counter. Depends on your level of cooking expertise, depending on how much you want to do for the dish homemade. But um, I can say I've done it multiple, multiple times just buying the ingredients and just preparing it at my house. Oh, great. So the goal is to get that, you want to get that color on it. These are looking perfect because it crisps up the edges and it adds a whole nother dynamic to the dish. Those little crispy edges are really where it's at. Turn that side off and I'm going to start stacking them over here. And then we're going to do the pita. to keep this meat hot. So like I said, I turn this, I turn this left side off so it's no, no more direct heat. It'll stay hot because the rest of the skillet's getting heat. I'm going to start by just putting them face down on the flat. We're going to get them hot. Checking those bottoms. We're getting there, softening up them pitas. Nice and soft. Loosens them up. Great. Yeah, nice and tender. Next step is... Finish them! <laughs> Greek yiddos in the country, baby. Woo! All right, so this is what we got. Two pitas. Two Greek pitas. I'm going to double them up. I'm going to build them like that. And we're going to spin them around and show you how it is, baby. Woo! I'm going to check the meat for you guys. As you can tell, it's loafing up nicely. 171, she's ready, baby. 166, wow, she's done though. Yep, let her rest for 45 minutes in the fridge. She's ready to slice. Now they say the best thing to do is do it overnight. That's what we did. That's why I got them real thin slices. But she's ready at 165. We're gonna go ahead and pull her out. Just like that, turns into a nice little loaf. Uh, if you do same day, they say, Take it out, let it rest for 45 minutes, two hours in the fridge, then she's ready to slice. Come on. All right, this is it, team. We're finishing it up. So now the goal is to build your dish. I think it's very important how you layer it because it gives it a lot of visual aspect, which brings a lot of flavor to people's eyes before they take a bite. Uh, my goal is, 
is I'm gonna do some tzatziki in there just to get it where it layers it really well because I wanna make sure I have tzatziki on every bite. Then we're gonna put some arugula in there, put the meat in there, and then we're gonna to top it with the toppings. First thing, tzatziki sauce. There we go. I'm gonna bring it all the way up one side. That way, that way you get a tzatziki in every bite. I love tzatziki sauce. It's a cucumber Greek yogurt sauce. All right, next step. We're gonna do, after we finished everything, we, we grilled the pitas. Um, normally, like if I have an oven or a broiler or something of that nature, I'll try to melt the Parmesan cheese on it. But just for today, we're gonna sprinkle it on top of our toppings. Next step is arugula. So we're gonna put some nice, nice little layer of arugula in there. And like I said, I do mine a little different than most people do theirs, but that's because I like to add a little of my own personal touch to my dishes. So this would be one of them. Next step is, your homemade yiddo meat, baby. So grab about three or four slices for each one of these bad boys. You wanna have a nice balance for meat to vegetables. Wow, it's starting to look beautiful. All right, last but not least, you guys, we're gonna put our toppings on here. Mix them up good, real good, one more time. Get all that juice on the bottom up top. Oh yeah, would you look at that. Woo! <laughs> Tastes so good, make your tongue slap your brains out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Flavor, baby. All right, just put one heaping scoop of that in there. All right, maybe a little more. Last but not least, BAM! <laughs> Let's go! All right, folks, and that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Camping Kitchen. We went all the way back to my roots, all the way to Greece, baby, to bring you the Americanized Yiddo with a little twist. Thanks for following along the show. Thanks for following The Camping Kitchen, and thanks for all the love and support. Until next time, keep it cooking. Woo! All right, last but not least, bam, bam! Bam, bam! Gotta get that, Jim, bam! <laughs> BAM! <laughs> BAM! <laughs> BAM! BAM! <laughs> if you ain't bamming, you ain't slamming. Let's go! <laughs> make sure you like, follow, and subscribe our video because we want to make sure we keep you guys in the loop. Let us know what we should cook below. BAM! <laughs>